Hey guys, it's Sam from Skateboard Academy UK and today's video is about how to skate curbs and why you should skate curbs. Let's have a little look. So you might be wondering, why would you skate a curb? What's the point in skating a curb? And what is the advantage of skating a curb? Well, I would say there's a couple of advantages. Number one, curbs are everywhere. You might have a curb in your street, in a local car park, in a school playground, somewhere near you where it's quite quiet. You might never even looked at it before. Secondly, skating a curb teaches us so many things that we can't learn just on the flat ground. And we certainly can't learn if we're just cruising around a skate park all the time. So skating curbs is something I recommend to all beginner skaters to improve their skill set. Some of the more finer skills, some of the more advanced skills and gaining more control with your skateboards. Okay, so curb skill number one I want to touch upon. This might be one of the first things you learn with curbs is how to ride off a curb. There are two main ways you can ride off a curb. Way number one, and this might be the first way you learn, is actually where you ride off the curb and your front wheels set down first, you continue to roll, and then your back wheels set down second. All you really need to know with this one is you keep your feet on the bolts and you keep your weight back as the front wheels drop off this curb. Make sure that the nose does nose dive into the ground. If you want to upgrade how you ride off curbs, then the second one you might learn, you might learn to manual off the curb. This, you might also call this a wheelie off the curb. I'm going to call it a manual because that's the proper word for it. Before these wheels drop off the end, you need to lean back and lift the front wheels off the ground, holding this manual in position until all your wheels drop at the same time, you're going to land and bend your knees. Keep your back foot on the tail behind the bolts in order to push the tail down to hold the manual. Riding off curbs and manual off curbs is really important. This is going to improve your timing, your ability to hold your balance, and these, there's so many transferable ways this is useful in a skate park or on other tricks. A beginner's way of getting up the curb is simply by lifting your front wheels on top of the curb, leaning forward, and then lifting your back wheels up at the same time. You need to get quite quick at this to be able to kind of keep your momentum. One key consideration with this trick is that as soon as your front wheels have lifted and they've rolled on top of the pavement, on top of the curb, you kind of want your front foot to be on the bolts, maybe slightly on the nose. You can lean forward, push the nose and lifting the back wheels on top as well. A better way of getting up this curb is obviously to ollie. You might want to work on your ollies on the flat ground first. I remember when I was growing up, when I started skateboarding, a real test of how good your ollies were, were if you can ollie up the curb. So if your ollies are at the point where you're able to get all your wheels off the ground at a nice level, you need to start rolling towards that curb and making sure that you time it so you don't crash into the curb and that you don't ollie too far away from the curb. You need to ollie just in time, lift your knees nice and high so you can actually land all your wheels on the top. Okay, so part two of why skating curbs is so great for your skateboarding is that you can learn stalls and tricks that you might want to learn on quarter pipes and on ledges. You can actually learn these on the curb. I'm going to show you a few now. So what I'm showing you here are just a handful of the stalls and tricks you can learn on curbs. There are obviously loads. You can learn to land on your nose, on the tail you can just roll into these tricks, maybe nose and tail. You can also ollie and try and land with your trucks on the curb. This is going to involve kind of improving your ollies, improving your timing so that you time the ollie right so that you land where you need to land. You're also going to get used to the balance of actually interacting with the curb in a way that you kind of lock the trucks on or you land on the right part of your board and maintain balance in order to be able to hold that position and then also get off the curb at the end. This is an absolutely great building block for learning to grind and slide on curbs, ledges and beyond. We have talked a little bit about stalls on curbs and this leads directly to grinds. What I'm doing right now, I'm using this thing which is called a rub brick and this is basically rubbing the curb down, making sure it's nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of wax on the curb. This basically fills in all the little gaps and smooths the curb right out and it should slide quite nicely. Then we can talk about grinds. So 
So lots of people ask me as a skateboarding coach, how do they learn grinds? How do they get onto grind ledges and stuff in skate parks? Usually grind ledges in skate parks are quite high and they're quite difficult to get onto for beginners. Now I learned all of my grinds on curbs in the street where I lived when I was growing up. And then as my ollies got higher, I was naturally able to take these to higher ledges. Hopefully some of you have learned how to do like axle stalls on the curbs where you get both your trucks actually to lock on the curb and able to get out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same technique where I ollie before the curb and land with my trucks on, but this time I'm actually going to approach with an angle, so I'm going to start from over there. I'm going to ride in almost parallel with the curb, and when I land with some speed, I will continue to slide with my trucks along the curb. Expand on this grind where instead of landing with both your trucks, you learn to land on one truck, maybe your back truck, that's a little bit easier. You can learn to rotate and twist and land on your tail, and you can basically start to unlock grinds one by one, thinking about ways you can make them more complicated and involving more of a dynamic use of your skateboard. Whoa! That worked. A little bit of extra wax really helped that get going. Um, if you don't have a rub brick or something, in the past I've just used a brick, like I found a stone and I've rubbed this curb down. I actually did it on this particular curb. I can't finish this video without saying that you can also do slappy grinds on curbs. Slappy grinds are basically where you don't ollie into the curb, you kind of ride and smash your wheels into it. You don't need to lift your front end at all, your front wheels, you actually just lean back and allow the wheels to ride up the curb. I'll show you close up. You kind of ride so fast and so aggressively, leaning back so your weight is behind the board, and this all forces the board to kind of wall ride up the curb. It's essentially the sides of your wheels climbing up this bit of the curb because you've just got so much force and speed behind you. Oh my god, it's just so much fun, and this is why this is why we skate. It's because it's fun. It's fun to do something different as well. I, I personally spend a lot of time in skate parks, and it's nice to just hit something different, something simple, where instead of loads of distractions, loads of different options, you've actually got to kind of grapple and wrestle with one thing and work it out. Because sometimes I find that if I'm struggling with a trick, I just move on to another trick that I can already do. In a skate park, it's really easy, right? You can just change obstacles. But when you've only got a curb, you're gonna stick there and that's what you're gonna work out. You're gonna work out how to do these things. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. With the slappy grind, um, basically you need to play with the amount of speed um, and it's a really weird one where the more confident you are, the more aggressive you are, the easier it works even though going faster is scarier, but it actually plays to your benefit. So just go out there, try and see what happens. So I hope you guys out there found this video helpful and informative around why you should be skating curbs. I think skateboarding curbs is the great equalizer. You don't need a skate park near you. It's something that we've most of us have got, whether it's in our street or local car park. There's loads of skills you can learn on curbs that you can take to skate parks. So for example, the stalls you learned, you could actually adapt them to riding up the quarter pipe and doing them on the coping and then going back down the quarter pipe. Very similar sense of balance and control of your skateboard when you're doing stalls with your trucks on and stuff like that those are transferable skills you can take it also teaches you a lot about placement of your body so for example when you're on a stall you need to be stood above the board above the thing you're stalling on in order to hold your balance and then even getting out of stalls rotating twisting lifting your trucks twisting your wheels where you put, apply pressure on your board these are all things you can take with you anyway with your skating. So I think curbs are awesome. I grew up skating curbs and they taught me how to do grind stalls, so much stuff. So if you found this video helpful or interesting, please consider hitting the like button. Really helps out this video getting out there to more people who would find this sort of content interesting. Hopefully you've learned stuff and, and it would be great if other people could too. If there's anything in this video that you think I should unfold on a little bit more, make a specific video about, please let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to sort of make replies and consider what videos I'm making in the future. I very much want to make videos that people want to watch, so if you tell me what you want to watch, I will make that video for you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sam. Nice to see you all again and see you next week.